Hey there, Weather Geeks. Weather for Weather Geeks time here on uh, Tuesday, April the 21st, 2015. Recording this at about 7.35 p.m. And boy, what a windy day today. Wind gusts have reached 40 to 45 miles per hour. Uh, thankfully tonight the wind will start to die down a little, but it's still going to be pretty frisky. Uh, temperatures this evening in the middle 50s in most areas, but the, the wind really takes a, a bite out of the air. It really feels more like the 40s. Kind of a cool visual thing out there this evening uh, with the sun getting low in the sky. You might be lucky enough to see some, some Virga precipitation that evaporates before it reaches the ground. You can see rain shafts coming out of the clouds illuminated by some sun, but a lot of this rain that uh, we've seen on the radar over the last few hours not reaching the ground. The air in the bottom 500 to 1,000 feet of the atmosphere is very, very dry, so it's uh, kind of eating away at any precipitation that's trying to fall. So a cool-looking sky out there this evening. This weather map resembles maybe November or early March. Take your pick. It is very chilly in a lot of places. Uh, snow shower activity out here across the uh, upper Midwest and into parts of the Great Lakes states uh, this evening. Let me, uh, let me throw on the uh, upper level uh, what we call heights, 500 millibar heights, uh, where we can pick out uh, a little bit of what's going on as far as the features in the atmosphere. And boy, does your eye get drawn to this. Huge upper low spinning up here uh, along Lake Superior, along the U.S.-Canadian border. This thing is just a big bowling ball that's going to kind of it's going to weaken some, but it is going to kind of just meander across southeastern Canada, northeastern part of the U.S. over the next few days. That's what's going to keep us in this cool, cloudy, unsettled pattern. In the meantime, there's a nice ridge out here in the west. This is the pattern that we had for a lot of the winter. Now, thankfully, it's not January, so we're not talking about, you know, harsh wind chills and, and snow accumulations. But still, this is the late April version of the same pattern that we had uh, back in the winter. Uh, again, very chilly up across the Midwest this evening. This is the air mass that's coming south and east tomorrow. Now, they've got evening temperatures in the 30s up here in Minnesota. It's not going to be quite that cold here, but still, I think we're stuck in the 40s during the course of uh, of our uh, Wednesday. So let's uh, skip ahead then to Wednesday, and I think tomorrow morning can start with some steady rain in spots. Let's uh, show you what the latest and greatest NAM model has tomorrow morning, right at 8 a.m., Notice what it's doing here, uh, kind of a steady batch of rain along this next cold front, the leading edge of that chillier air that's up across the upper Midwest. And so tomorrow morning, I think it's going to be just a raw, damp morning with light rain and drizzle, temperatures around 40. No fun for the kids at the bus stop and anybody who needs to be outdoors tomorrow. This steady rain tomorrow morning, likely to push out, though, by mid to late morning. Here's 11 a.m. Notice the steady rain is now east. Now this can be replaced by kind of the weather we had today with real spotty shower activity. Uh, it'll have a little easier time reaching the ground tomorrow. So even tomorrow afternoon there can be a shower, but the day starts probably with a period of steady rain uh, tomorrow morning. So something to watch out for there. Temperatures tomorrow are uh, really, really struggling. Uh, you know, 46, 47 should about do it. Our high of 49 that we have on TV might be a little optimistic. Uh, so, yeah, real chilly day tomorrow, and, and the wind is also still going to be frisky. You know, we're talking about, uh, oh, sustained uh, wind speeds tomorrow, probably on the order of 10 to 20, with some gusts maybe to 25 or 30, so not quite as bad as today, but still not much fun at all. Um, take a look at the, uh, the rest of the week here. Uh, it's interesting, tomorrow night, <laughs> and heading into Thursday morning, and I talked about this on TV and on social media a little bit today, yeah, I think there's going to be a few snowflakes trying to be seen across our area. Now, it's not going to stick or anything. There might be, even be some coatings up here in the higher terrain of northern PA and uh, southern tier of New York, around the Finger Lakes and points south. But around here, to late Wednesday night, Thursday morning, yeah, you might see a snow flurry. Uh, it's, it's a possibility. The air aloft will certainly be chilly enough, uh, that's for sure. And by Thursday afternoon, any moisture left over is, you know, I think this is overdone on the GFS, but Thursday afternoon, there could very well be or try to be a, uh, a rain shower that could have a little grapple trying to be mixed in. Here's the SREF uh, probabilities of precipitation over the next couple of days. Uh, green rain, blue snow. Uh, notice late in the day tomorrow into tomorrow night. Yeah, that's not a high chance, but a 20 to 40 percent chance of seeing some snowflakes around the area. Maybe taking us right into the early morning hours on Thursday. Take a look at the upper level pattern uh, for just a second here. Uh, show you where this... Uh, this big bowling ball in the in the atmosphere is going. Uh, it's going to meander around parts of the northeast, and uh, you know here's the center of it by by Thursday, over New England. Here's Friday, 
notice it hasn't moved a whole lot. Here's the weekend. Uh, you know, it's still hanging out over Atlantic Canada and the Maritimes. As long as that thing's sitting over there, any warmth that's building out here is going to have a hard time getting the green light to come east. So this is the pattern we're going to be in at least through what looks like early next week. Here's a look at uh, next Monday. The center of this thing is still <laughs> out over Maine. Uh, another trough out here across the Midwest. And so this still is just a cool looking pattern into the first half of next week. And uh, hopefully we break out of that then sometime in early May. Uh, as far as uh, the weekend forecast, uh, let's back up uh, real quickly here. I want to take a look at, uh, at Saturday because this is kind of a tough forecast at this point. Uh, coming up on Saturday. Let's see, uh, Saturday would be the 26th, 25th. Uh, this little plume of moisture coming out of the Midwest is going to just scrape us. So, you know, it's it's April now and it's the weekend, so this is an important forecast for a lot of people. So I want to give you some detail on this. The models have been waffling around as to how far north this batch of moisture gets. Yesterday's GFS suggested it'll rain here on Saturday. Today's GFS is a little farther south while the European models actually come a little farther north. So what we have is a low-end chance of rain in our forecast for Saturday. Uh, just, uh, you know... Keeping it in there because it's the weekend, we don't want to guarantee a dry weekend when this batch of moisture could very well try to sneak up in our neck of the woods. So forecast details that still need to be ironed out. You know, I've been looking for signs of a pattern change again in the longer range, and boy, it's going to be tough. This is a uh, this is uh, May the second, two you know, a couple weeks from now, uh, and, or a week and a half from now, I should say. And and uh, you know, we still have ridge over the over the Rockies. Right here, and we still have our kind of trough. It's not as deep, but it's still a trough over the northeast. As long as that's the pattern, it's going to be tough to get much above average uh, temperatures, it looks like, through the first few days of May. So uh, we've got a, a good, probably solid 10 days of temperatures that will be at or below average most of the time. Could we sneak in an above average day here and there? Sure. But overall, a below average pattern, it looks like, for about 10 days. Hopefully beyond that, things change. Thanks for watching the Tuesday evening weather for Weather Geeks. Go Cavs this evening, and uh, I will uh, see you right back here tomorrow evening for Weather Geeks, and uh, I'll see you tonight on 21 News at 11 o'clock. Have a great night.